Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. Now in the previous episode we had a bit of a construction project and that is the blacksmith area over here. By the way I have at the time of the recording this video the previous one uh, has not been released yet so I have not seen the comments so there are a few things in here such as the roof bits or or uh, oh yeah actually the blacksmith roofs there as well. So uh, yeah these are not updated because I have not released the video but anyways I do have to record this a little bit earlier, which hopefully you've already seen it from my post on both Discord and, and I'm not sure if I've posted it on YouTube as well, but uh, yeah, work's getting busier, so I have to pre-record a few episodes at a time. So let's jump into the game. Let's have a look over here. So we talked about what happened in previous episode. In this episode, we are going to start building a bit of um, armory and continuation or extension of the warehouse. Now I have cleared up this area, or it's a work in progress, and the farms are now outside here. Uh, we also, in the previous episode, this was done mostly um, as a time lapse. I, I did give it a try. Once I see the comments, if that works with us, then I'll do it in the future as well. But in this one, I wanted to try a bit of a different approach. So we will be building this live and together. And let's see, and so that way I can show you a bit of my thought and thinking process behind all this as well but we've got a bit of a blueprint in here mm, probably difficult to see with all these cleanup commands but essentially right so with those entrances I believe I have already mentioned this before but this main entrance is gonna change and I agree with uh, quite a few comments that I saw on the on the episodes as well before that uh, it doesn't quite make sense that the main entrance to our to the core of the cave is right uh, the cave over here is right by the one of the main entrances so um, I think we want to move this entrance somewhere towards here yeah right about there and uh, okay so they're already putting up the walls well all right that is fine and uh, what else have we done before starting this episode I have been <laughs> spending quite a bit of time to put in this final bedroom in here let's turn on the heating as well because it's quite warm outside okay so that is done we've got two extra bedrooms i believe and uh let's have a look i think we had a new settler as well yeah uh, one over there that we have not really set up crafting could be main thing you're like tailoring as well but there isn't a whole bunch of tailoring to do so what shall you do smithing nah probably not carpentry no you could uh, these should definitely be number ones maybe you can help us with the harvesting growing but the main thing what do you like you like mining okay so that's not a bad idea at all cutting plants now nah, you could probably help with that as well because that's quite a big job sometimes harvesting what are you like botany three okay well i guess we can leave it as it is for the time being when it comes to the management weapons what are you interested in Let's see, melee, but it's zero, marksman is ten. Well, if you like melee, but you're really bad at it, that's fine. We'll uh, make sure we train you up for that, and let's give you seasonal clothing as well. Helmet, yeah, you can have whatever you want, and same with the armor as well. Okay, oh uh, wait, last thing, schedule, we'll give you some leisure time as well. Right after you wake up and before you go to bed. Okay, great. Let's put it on two times speed right now and so what I'm thinking is that this side will be more like the armory and uh, yeah I know it's by the main entrance but we are putting uh, some uh, reinforced doors over here so hopefully it's, it's gonna be enough and then again you know medieval times maybe they weren't as clever and smart with some of their design decisions at that at, at time so yeah we're gonna place it over there when it comes to the flooring i think we'll we'll just do wooden floors actually let me just cancel that no let's uh let's keep the wooden floors for the warehouse which we also have queued queued up in there and um yeah the warehouse is gonna be well, the entrance is right over there, and we've got a staircase in here as well. And I was thinking the warehouse will actually cross over over the armory. 
So it's going to be two levels high. However, we will be needing some support pillars here and there. I think we'll have to change some of that flooring a little bit, but I just want them to clear this area up a little bit at first. So that way we can see where to place things. Right, so this section is more or less done. And just to give it a little bit more contrast, I think we'll place down just the limestone floors right about there and here. We've got a small corner right up there as well. And a last couple of bits. And then we'll be able to see a little bit better. I think everyone's off to their beds and... Uh, okay, yeah. Right, so this is the main focus and we'll be doing that. But I'd quickly I'd like to talk a little bit about our church or the cathedral ideas here as well. So a little bit torn between the two proposals that we've had in the comments. One being the centralized cathedral right in the middle and maybe having two little wings to separate the different religions or the other option is to have two separate buildings that are not connected at all because we have a few trees already in here it could go up on a hill a little bit and that could be which one if we have a look at uh, i think it was on the furniture no leisure okay the wooden oak brethren shrine that seems to be more like the earthly religion, so it could be a suitable spot. And then we also have the other religion here, which I think could be more a bit more modern, I suppose. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll we'll see. I'll have to do a little bit more thinking whether we do a more like a cathedral here and different wings, and then with the the passage here, we'll go through underneath, come out from the other side, and that will connect to our I think the farm areas and the bit of a forestry area somewhere about there as well. But yeah, that's just the idea or thought in process. But we'll see how that's gonna go. Hmm, okay. So they're putting things in place nice and slow. Just a couple more walls up as well. And then uh, what we'd like to place down is a few weapons racks. Probably don't have to be too shy about how many we place here. However, let's start nice and slow. Also this section, I don't think we're gonna put any windows because we don't want, especially when we have the, the traders come in, we don't want them to really know where all our weapons and things are being kept. So, so yeah, let's uh, just put a few of them he here. And when it comes to the quality of the weapons, uh, probably let's start with the superior or higher, and they should definitely be about 40%. We'll give it the, the highest priority. And, uh, okay, fortunately we can copy over those settings, so that's great. Another way to do this as well is just build the first one, set what you want to keep there, and then uh, we can use the copy function here and they will place another another shelf uh, with the same settings already applied. Okay, so a couple more. We'll finish that off. And with this section here, yeah, I don't think we will be doing any, any more in here. This is just our key stuff that we are constructing. And I mean, we could also use these sections perhaps for some of the more precious resources. Now, outside, we'll most likely put a few more berries just to make it look a little bit more green. And with the decorations, I'd really like to have something centralized over here. Uh, fountain would be amazing, but the game sadly does not have any fountains. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can put down here. So it turns like a, into a bit of a roundabout for the pedestrians. Okay, are we also doing that side? Everyone's really busy with stuff. But I'm not really sure with the, what they're doing. I guess they're hauling things around and getting... Well, these farms are pretty much ready, so... Hopefully we'll get to cutting down all these plants in here. So that way we could start putting in some, some of those walls and stuff as well. Right, now with the roof bits, I guess if we take a look, we will probably like to have the half ones. And we'll do, let us see. 
this is probably going to be a half roof all across and same to the front somewhere there but yeah the warehouse itself let's see okay but we'll start putting down some floors already and then we can always change things around we still have some wood not a whole lot so actually the first thing we might do here let's clean up a bit of this forest we'll take down two rows and that should hopefully be enough i've actually also changed some of the recipes in here so instead of using wood we'll try and use sticks because we got a massive pile of them and have we done it with this as well i uh, hmm yeah let's take the wood out and that's only metal okay so the rest should be fine cool seems like they are finally starting to move over into this area as well very slowly however yeah let's start putting in some floors and hopefully we see where or how far we want to go maybe about there just to start off with and yes with the stability because we don't have those those walls in yet we can't really place too many so we're gonna have to have some support pillars in here so let's try and figure this out as well we'll use the stone ones only we could figure out let's see the distance is four and three okay so we could do one right about there now the walls are fairly close there's two bits in here isn't it yeah so another one could go underneath just about there and now using these bits could increase the stability just a tiny bit here we go oh and you can't really connect is that still the staircase yes it is okay so we'll have to change you around a little bit as well we'll just add an extra extra wall there and now we should be able to place another pillar yes there we go now with the floors let's try and bring this over again I believe it will allow us to extend it a little bit. Yep, there we go. And actually, let's do it all the way through. Now, whilst they're all clearing up this area and slowly building it up, I have also cleared this area where we used to have the armor stable. So I think right now as well, if we take the single layer, select all buildings, we should be able to, or at least find to clear up this zone and this space to hopefully make way for the future church or the cathedral. So we'll quickly tear you down and seems they are all very happy to get rid of this right away and not really focus on this area at all. Okay, I've changed a few, uh, few of the priorities around as well. It seems we need a few more people to help out with the with cutting down the plants. So we've got one settler there that's already onto it. Uh, let's remove this block in here and you as well. Now that seems to be pretty good, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that's done. Actually, no, never mind. There's a bit of a wall in here. And then they'll be able to move all those resources where they need to go. Now inside this blacksmithy area. Oh, actually, this is much more empty now, which is great. I guess they've moved a few weapons. Yes, they already have. Okay, that's good. But in the blacksmith areas as well, uh, we've had to create a bit of a temporary storage here for uh, some of the construction or the buildings that we've dismantled and also a few bricks that we've produced as well. Okay, how are we doing? We've got a couple of people on clearing out the vegetation here. So that's not bad. Now we've also left a bit of a bit of a gap here we, where we could place down a few resources that we may want to grow. So it could be a small garden, I suppose. With the armory over here, let's have a look if there's anything else we can place down. Don't really want it to be a production area. However, let's see, no chairs. Nothing in here. Decorations will come in time. But uh, weapons rack, no. Books, not really. Don't really want to store them here. Shelf, also not very useful because that's just for medicine. Some food resources and... Yeah, did I say medicine already? And the textiles. 
so I don't think these are gonna go in there which is which is okay since the clearing of this area takes quite a bit of time I'm gonna let them clear it up as much as we can and once it's done we'll be right back okay so they've finally cleared up pretty much most of the area in here and it seems we ran out of wood as well so now they're just taking down or devouring half of this forest there which is okay it's fine so um let's have a look what do we want to do in here now when it comes to the walls i suppose we'd like to go we'll pause it for a second actually we'll go over there this way now from here the stairs will come up we'll maybe cut off right about there which gives us a bit of space for a roof bit like so then in here what should we do in here mm, okay another roof could go right about there and to cover this bit up do we want to make a slightly bigger roof maybe right about there or let's have a look can we mm, could do something like this it's quite a massive section uh, but let's have a look up there. So this section could keep running maybe about there. And well, you're going to have to be covered. So maybe we'll carry on. Roof bits will have to go in there. So let's do that as well. We'll bring you over and want is the problem let's have a look we'll most likely need a bit of a support beam yep that was it okay so that section is in as well now how do we want to proceed from here this seems to be fairly reasonable so if we place you down we'll have another wall right over there okay so that gives us quite a quite a sizable room here and we'll try and put in as many floors as we can that area is blocked that is fine totally understand and now let's bring it across all the way there okay so that's starting to look pretty pretty decent actually now here i don't want to bring it over nor make it that massive I kind of want to keep like a smaller roof just above this section here. But then these spots will be a little bit more interesting to work with. I mean, I suppose. Let's let them keep cutting stuff. We'll put a support beam here. What we could perhaps do in, in the rest of the section. Let's uh, put you down as well. Or maybe we want it a little bit bigger. Let's have a look. Three could work or maybe four hmm do you know what let's uh actually i'm not really sure what we should do you know it might have sounded like a like i had an idea but no not just yet so we'll do a few more of those just to help us place those roofs down well maybe we'll try a slightly longer bit in here let's see what happens okay so it's a little bit different and what I'd like to do in here, what we, which we haven't done in the other build. How about we try and use some of those Merlons? What would it look like if we had these bits in here instead? Okay. Not too bad, I suppose. We'll try and cover this section up as well. And if we go back to Merlons now. Play break. Okay, corner bits are like so. And then all we need is just this section here. Okay, that could look kind of promising, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, they're already putting the roof, roofs in, which is great. And okay, I think we are happy for the time being. At least it doesn't look exactly the same as the blacksmithy. So I guess with those Merlons on top, it is going to make it a little bit different, which is which is great. 
That's exactly what I'd love to see. Now, when it comes to the roof bit on top here, I'm thinking we'll go... Oh, is that the widest or longest you can go? Well, that's a bit of a shame. This means... Hmm. I think we're going to have to put those walls in those sections instead so let's try it again if the roof goes from there okay it seems to work so we'll do this way now this isn't gonna work i know okay so that's the longest it goes as well so fine we're gonna do the same slow down down the time a little bit please they're just building quicker than i can plan so okay We've got these bits in. Now, this is a very long section here, so we'll break it break it down. Okay, this could work. And you will come out. You most likely as well. We'll leave you for the time being, actually. Now, the roof. If we drag you... Yep. That's what I'm thinking. So, you can... Get out from here and there. Another roof bit in, bit of a support there. And then we'll also need walls to cover. Oh, okay. Let us try this again. Let's uh, put those floors in. Oh no. Okay, stability is an issue here, which means oh, that's a very long way. Yeah, I see. How about? Would we be able to break this room further down? Let's say about here. We shall do. Are you going through these two sections now? Or what is happening? It doesn't even let me highlight it. Okay, I guess we'll see what's going to happen. Let's try and do those floors again. It should allow us to. Yes, it will. Walls in. We'll go uh, one level up, and now... Ah, uh, wait, did we mess up again? We might have. Okay, we might have to bring those walls in a little bit further. Or a little bit more. Yep. Okay, so... This is the area. Okay, that's good. That's fine. At least we know now. And bring those walls a little bit closer. Let's see what happens now. If we... Okay, that seems to work. Are you the same as well? Yes, you are. Okay, cool. It's a little offset, but that's good. It means it's not exactly the same everywhere. Now for this section in here, I... What can we do? We could do... Should we go keep going with the Merlons? I suppose we should. Because that kind of looks pretty cool. I think at least. So we'll grab a few more. Let's see. The clay ones. And through. And through. And now the corner bits. Yep. Perfect. And we just need one more. Right over there. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's let them build as much as they can. I have a feeling this stability is a bit of a bit of a pickle still. They've done a little bit on that side. Oh, and these walls were coming out, weren't they? Yep, it does seem so. So we can remove you. Uh, wait, let's keep one of them. Uh, too late. They've already destroyed it. Okay, never mind. It's fine. And we can also extend you a little bit. I think the rest over here, because it's uh, that's a little bit awkward here. No worries. We'll put a wall just to break it. And there we go. Okay. That should work. So the outside Merlons, yeah, they look actually surprisingly pretty good. And now let's have a look indoors again. They've done most of the floors here, so they can walk up. When it comes to support, I think it would be not a bad idea just to put a couple more in here. Not really necessary, but 
bit more realistic in a way, I suppose. And yeah, okay, so a slightly smaller uh, place on the on the ground or first floor. And when we go up a level, yeah, there's plenty of space to move everything that we have in here right now over into our newly built warehouse. Okay, so we'll just let them finish this construction. And as soon as the roofs are done, we'll jump back right in. Okay, I think we are pretty much done with this construction project here. So everything downstairs... We don't have anything in here yet, but the walls... And we've got a few windows here as well, just to let a little bit of extra light into those very dark rooms right now. So that's just for the warehouse side. On the armory side, we don't have any windows, obviously. I'll place down a few flags, a few torches. And what I've also changed, actually, up here, we've got this nice, lovely space. I've changed those walls into a couple of extra doors. And we're putting down a few torches. I think that would look pretty nice in the nighttime as well. And we're also having a couple of extra flags in here, just to make sure that everyone knows what kind of uh, kingdom they're in when they visit us. And yeah, that's looking... Actually, if we bring everything up, it looks pretty pretty decent. Quite happy with the how the roof bits are as well. This I guess this is the only section that I'm not entirely convinced about. I was thinking another option is to grab those limestone walls and do another level here. Put a small half roof on top. Just to uh, break it up a little bit. But for now, I, th I suppose it's okay. And uh, yeah, I quite like how the roofs are a little bit offset as well on both of those buildings here. So it doesn't look like it's been very carefully planned out and uh, all looks the same. But okay, I think the build is pretty much done now. And uh, we can have a quick nighttime look as well. Well, it's not quite the night time but it's pretty dark outside so this is sort of what it uh, will look like so yeah i think that's going to be the end of this episode i hope you enjoyed and uh, it was a fun building this together and uh, we'll see you again in the in the next episode <laughs>